we're going to have to fight the bastards and uh, you know police are outside we're going to have to we're going to have to do this and uh, unfortunately uh, a thousand people just went absolutely apeshit you know I did this one one party what happened was there was about 6,000 people outside the, a thousand people got in and then the police turned up with uh, helicopters, dogs, um, the full riot squad, you know. Um, so, so whilst I was DJing, I was playing and then I could see the lights from the helicopters like coming through the windows. Um, and, uh, and, and then the, the, the guy who was the actual organiser of the party, who's, who's, who's actually passed away now, um, he came up to me and he said, look, you know, the police are outside. Now, this was the best thing that I'd ever done in my entire life, right? So, um, so I said, I, 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 all right, no problems, leave it with me. And then you could plug the headphones into the mic uh, the socket, yeah. and then you could actually speak through the yeah. through the through the thing. So, um, so, so I got on the, the headphone mic sort of thing, and so went, listen, guys, if you want want the party to carry on, we're going to have to fight fight the bastards, and uh, you know, police are outside. We're going to have to. We're gonna to have to do this, and uh, unfortunately, uh, a thousand people just went absolutely apeshit. More than 800 are arrested in acid house party raid. The bricks were thrown at police when they moved in to break up the party at a warehouse near Leeds. The partygoers later made allegations of police brutality. Uh, we ended up fighting the police for about three hours. Not me personally; I didn't fight the police, but but um, you know, I did stand back and think. Oh my God, what have I done what here? Have I done? What have I actually done? You know, uh, I never met, I never in my entire life meant for that to happen. I got caught up in the moment. Um, I, I'm not gonna say, you know, uh, that I don't regret it because I, do, you know, it, it caused me no end of trouble. As you can imagine, you know, I, I ended up doing three months in jail. Um, you know, um, it wasn't very nice. It, it was not pleasant. I was, you know, I was in there with some real nasty characters. I saw a few horrible things. I saw people getting slashed and all sorts of stuff. So it's not. It was no, no bed of roses, you know. And it was in the days where it looked like, um, yeah, if you remember the series Porridge, where where there's two blokes on a bunk bed um, with a bucket to go to the toilet, and you know that's what it was like. It was ropey. I'm not joking. Um, and I, and but the, the but the beauty of all of that is that I did have that epiphany moment where I was looking out over uh, over Leeds I, I did my stint in Armley and I, and I was looking through the bars over over the, the rooftops and I thought to myself right well what am I gonna do am I gonna go and get a proper job or am I gonna you know absolutely take it by the scruff of the neck and make this my life uh, make it my my you know my life's goal to, to succeed and that's what I chose that's the path that I chose and just luckily, it seemed to come off all right. Hang on, you man. <laughs> Fucking hell.